Hi, my name's Darren Bug, and today I'm reviewing the Premier Inn at Hanger Lane in North London. Now this Premier Inn is one I've stayed at many times in the past and it's one of my favourite Premier Inns mainly because of the location because it's right next to a tube station, it's next to Hanger Lane tube station which makes it very convenient. Uh, there's good parking uh, right next to the hotel although you do have to pay extra for it and also it's right next to the North Circular which means it only takes about 20 minutes to get to the A1 or the M1 motorway which is really useful for me to get back home to Leeds. So the location for me personally is fantastic and I really like the close proximity to the underground station. But there are one or two problems with the hotel as well. So I'm going to first of all give you a tour of the hotel room and the bathroom and then I'll explain whether or not I would recommend this hotel and whether I would stay here again. So starting off with the bed, well the bed was fantastic as always, they're always nice at Premier Inn, very very comfortable and I got a very good night's sleep. Only a small window which means you don't get much natural light into the room. The usual desk which you get in all Premier Inns, it's um, pretty much bog standard wherever you go in the country, the desks are pretty much the same and then you get the comfortable chair if you want to sit and read or watch TV. There was a problem with natural lighting because the windows are small and it looks out onto a dingy courtyard at the back but the reason I chose that room is because it's very quiet. If I'd been at the front of the hotel then I would have had a lot of noise so I chose a room at the back of the hotel which was dark and not a very good view but at least I did get a good night's sleep. Unfortunately the television isn't brilliant. It's a good make, it's a Samsung, but the ports at the back, as you can see, there's lots of them, but none of them seem to work. So I wasn't able to plug a USB stick in the back and watch a film, which is what I wanted to do. So unfortunately some of the ports have been disabled on this TV, and it's not a particularly good TV anyway. You get the usual coffee and tea and metal kettle, I got a wine glass from reception. Not much coffee, but if you ask them at reception, they'll give you some more. Space for my flight bag and my laptop computer. An usual problem of not enough uh, coat hangers, which is a problem all over the world. Wherever you go, you never seem to get enough coat hangers. So I ended up having to put my, uh, my big raincoat on, on the hanger near the door. But that's fine, it's not a problem. I just wish they'd give you more space to hang up your shirts. You get the hairdryer as standard in all Premier Inns. Uh, unlike Travel Lodge, where you have to ask for one at reception, in Premier Inn they give you a hairdryer, which I always like. And the room is fairly spacious as well, which I was pleased about. I find the older Premier Inns do have more spacious rooms. All of them have air conditioning, all Premier Inns have air conditioning and it worked very effectively. I was staying in the autumn so it did, I didn't really need it but it would have been great in the middle of summer to have had that air conditioning, it's definitely worthwhile. The bathroom is pretty much the same as all the bathrooms in all Premier Inns. So good clean, um, good condition, no mould, no dirt, very nice big mirror. You get the usual toilet and wash basin that you'll get in all the Premier Inns. But one massive bonus is the bath. And I found that if you stay in a new Premier Inn, they don't tend to have baths. Whereas in the older Premier Inns, they do have baths. And I, I love to have a bath. Some people aren't bothered, but I like to have a bath and a shower. But unfortunately, there is a problem with the shower. It's not particularly powerful and all the pipe work go behind the tiles. Now I like the type of showers where you can take them off the wall and wash your bits and pieces. But you can't do it with that type of shower because you can't take the shower head off the wall. So you, it's fine for washing your hair but um, you can't really wash the rest of your body. So um, pl big plus point of having the bath. That's fantastic having a bath. But I just wish it was one of those showers where you can take the shower head off the wall and, and wash whatever parts of your body that you want to wash rather than it just splashing down on your head. 
Um, nice safe door locking mechanism. I've tested it out. I had some bad experiences at travel lodges um, with door closing mechanisms not locking properly, but this one was fine. And uh, the key card entry worked absolutely fine. Another thing I always look out for because sometimes the key cards don't work properly. But this was fine. The door locked fine, nice and secure. And so generally, um, the hotel room, it is looking a little bit jaded, a little bit tired. It's nice and clean, the carpet's clean, the bathroom's clean, the furniture's clean. Um, just a little bit old-fashioned and really in need of an update, like some of the newer Premier Inns, which are much more modern. So the big question, would I stay here again? Well, as I said at the start, I have actually already stayed here several times in the past. And that is mainly because of the convenience. It's very easy to get to if you're travelling from the north, from the M1 or the A1. You're straight onto the North Circular and it doesn't take more than about 20 minutes to get from the end of the motorways to the hotel. It's very easily accessible and there is an underground station which is Hangar Lane on the central line which is right outside the front door of the hotel so it does make it a very convenient place to stay. I do have several concerns and that is mainly the fact the hotel hasn't been updated. Now by the time you watch this film it may have been updated but Premier Inn at the moment are running out a whole series of hotel updates throughout the country and for example a few days ago I stayed at the Premier Inn at Heathrow Airport and the room was completely different. It had a much much bigger television, it had much better furnishings, it had beautiful ambient lighting, um, all the fixtures and fittings were much nicer, the carpets, the decorations, everything was a lot better and I suspect that at some point they're going to do the same thing with this hotel, at least I hope they do. Um, at the moment the hotel is looking a little bit old and tired, it definitely needs an update but there is the massive advantage of the great location and the close proximity to the underground station. So yeah, I will stay here again as long as the price is reasonable. I wouldn't pay a lot of money to stay here, whereas at some of the other Premier Inns I'd be happy to pay more money um, because the rooms are just so much nicer. I would, if I was giving this hotel a star rating, I would give it maybe a low three star or possibly a high two star, whereas um, the hotel, for example, in London at Hayes or at Heathrow or some of the other hotels, the newer ones that have been refurbished, are almost four star quality. Um, and it wouldn't take a lot to make this hotel um, into that standard, into that four star standard, but it just needs a complete update. It's certainly a much bigger television, um, better bathroom, better furnishings, um, just, just a general lick of paint and an update and the ambient lighting. And if it was like um, some of the hotels that have been upgraded, the newer Premier Inns, then this, this would be fantastic because you'd have a wonderful hotel um, with a really good location as well. Um, at the moment, at the time that I made this film, it does need an update. Uh, maybe by the time you watch this film, maybe it will have been updated. In the meantime, if it remains like this, then yes, I will still stay here again. I think I'll be staying here again probably within the next six months. Um, but I certainly wouldn't pay a high price for the hotel. I think if you can get it for 40 or £50 pounds a night, then that's quite reasonable. I certainly wouldn't pay any more because if you're going to pay more than that, you can get a better quality hotel in London. My name's Darren Bug. Please remember to subscribe to my channel because the updates will be very useful. Uh, please remember to like this video as well and share it with your friends. Um, it'd be a great help to me. It really does help me in making these little films. Um, until next time, I'd love to see your comments. Please put your comments in the comment bar and keep an eye on my YouTube channel because I will be doing lots more reviews of budget hotels throughout London and in the major cities of the United Kingdom.